fires you up? What gets you going in the morning? What makes your heart sing? What makes you feel like at the end of the day you've lived your life well? It's been time well spent. The prophet Isaiah is reflecting on life that is meaningful when he says in Isaiah 50, beginning with verse 4, the Lord has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. Let me switch over to the New International Version. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being taught. The sovereign Lord has opened my ears and I've not been rebellious. I have not drawn back. Isaiah is saying, here's what gets me up in the morning. Here's what makes me want to learn more and more. Here's what fills my heart with excitement, with wonder, with joy, with a sense of purpose and meaning that I might have the tongue of the learned so that I can speak a word in season to him who is weary, that I can encourage the one who's ready to fall, that I can lift the one who is struck down in the middle of the race, that I can run alongside the one who's out of breath and feeling he or she can't go on another moment. It's springtime. Oh, springtime. You know, after a tough winter, our hearts are ready for a change. We've grown weary of winter. We're anxious for a change of seasons, for a new breath, a fresh air, to get outside, dig in the dirt, <laughs> take a walk, run a lap. Spring is a season of hope and new life. It's a season of encouragement. And it's a season when we can encourage others. Isaiah reminds us that it's often in the power of the tongue to build up or to destroy. What a gift to be able to have a learned tongue a gift from God, a gift from our teachers, a gift from life so that we can encourage and strengthen a weary brother or a weary sister. Isaiah goes on to exclaim that, that God awakens him every morning with new instructions and with new wisdom. You know, you have the tongue of the learned as well. And to the extent that you listen, to the extent that you read, to the extent that you keep an open mind and an open heart, and that you're willing to share what you're learning and share the blessings of your life with those who have grown tired of living. To that extent, you have something about which to rejoice something to fire you up, something to get you up in the morning. The greatest privilege in the world is found in lifting up someone else and moving them forward in their road to success, be it spiritual success or material success or business success or professional success or life success or family success or athletic success. There's no greater honor, no greater joy than to be a part of someone else's story of God's blessings through grace and of success as they wander and stumble on the cobblestones of life. Often it takes a word, but sometimes it's only a word 
that it takes to bring springtime to someone else's winter of discontent. To give it, we need to be able and willing to receive it, to listen intently, but also to listen intently with the intent of sharing it generously. And there's my phone telling me that another opportunity has arisen. So I'm going to answer it. Will you answer yours as well? God bless you.